guys. Hey guys, welcome back. Let's talk about a few things here. So, if you go back to just over the last month, month and a half, the articles with the 2020 budget, how they're coming out telling you with the 2020 budget, it only had enough money in it or funds in it to cover operating expenses. I called bullcrap on that. I told you they're lying. And then I was the only guru telling you it's that it was loaded with bull crap and I was the only one that told that told you they were lying to you and I was the only one that told you it had reforms in it now while every other guru at best was just able to share the news with you and read the news to you they weren't able to dissect it and analyze it for you okay so now so that was some of the patterns within the 2020 budget then since Sunday of this week, news comes out telling you that the U.S. is considering vacating its embassy in the green zone because of the random rockets and stuff. If you noticed, I stayed quiet about this, guys, and I did it for a reason. Because, again, while every other guru at best was just reading you news articles and telling you that... The U.S. is going to most likely vacate the embassy and everything. Okay. The reason I stayed quiet on this, guys, is because I sensed BS in it. And what I was waiting for is I was basically waiting for them to come out and call BS on it until I shared it with you because I knew in my gut it was BS. Okay. So one of our followers, Mr. SWT, says, Jeff, did you see the article on Edumatrix that the U.S. threatens to shut down the embassy? Again. I stayed quiet on this for a reason. I just smelled BS all over it. <clears throat> Let's look at the articles I have. Iraq pledges to protect diplomats after U.S. Embassy shutdown threat. Iraq Prime Minister Mustafa Kademi reacts during a news conference with French President Emmanuel Macron after a meeting in Baghdad, Iraq, September 2nd. Iraq will protect foreign foreign mission buildings and ensure only the state has weapons, Prime Minister Kademi told 25 top diplomats on Wednesday after Washington warned it would shut down its embassy. The United States had, has made preparations to withdraw diplomats from Iraq after warning Baghdad it, it could shut its embassy. Two Iraq officials and two Western diplomats said, Step Iraqis fear. A step Iraqis fear could turn their country into a battle zone, according to Reuters. Iraq, has, Iraq is keen on enforcing the rule of law, the state's monopoly on having weapons, protecting foreign missions, diplomatic buildings. Kadimi told a meeting of 25 ambassadors and charges d'affaires. His office said in a statement, those who carried out attacks on foreign missions are seeking to destabilize Iraq and sabotage its regional and international relations, he said. Rockets regularly fly across the Tigris towards the heavily fortified U.S. diplomatic compound. In recent weeks, rocket attacks near the embassy have increased and roadside bombs targeted convoys carrying equipment to the U.S.-led military coalition. One roadside attack hit a British convoy in Baghdad, the first of its kind against Western diplomats in Iraq for years. On Monday, three children and two women were killed when two militia rockets hit a family home the Iraqi military said police sources said Baghdad airport was the intended target. These attacks do not target foreign missions alone, but have hurt innocent citizens, including children. Washington blames such attacks on Iranian-backed militia groups. Iran has not directly commented on the incidences, but groups believed to be connected to Iran-aligned militias have claimed responsibility for some attacks. We expressed our deep concern at the rise in the number of sophisticated of attacks against diplomatic premises in Iraq. The 25 diplomats said in a joint statement, we welcome the actions of the Prime Minister Kademi and his government have taken to address these concerns. The U.S. ambassador was at Wednesday's meeting. The joint statement showed. al Kademi receives ambassadors of 25 brotherly and friendly countries. Kademi receives ambassadors of 25 brotherly and friendly countries. Al Kademi received ambassadors 
from 25 sisterly and friendly countries. Anyway, guys, you get the point here. This is a similar article to the last. But again, here's my point. With the 2020 budget, I was the only one that dissected it for you, brought you the brought you the real meat of it, told you there were reforms in it. I, I was telling you the reforms in it while news was only telling you it only had enough funds in it to cover operational expenses. And then eventually, the truth comes out and tells you the news and reveal some of the reforms inside of it to you, okay? Then, last week, we saw them actually come out and tell us there's reforms in it, okay? But again, the reason I stayed quiet on this, guys, is because I smelled BS all over it, and I was simply waiting for them to come out and tell you the truth that va- that the U.S. embassies are not going to be vacated, that Iraq does still have stability, okay? And that this is just BS, okay? I, so, again, at best, other gurus read you news while we analyze the news. There you guys go. You guys are the best. Have a great day. Take care.